Um, Ruto and Raila have met today and actually, you know, um, they want to discuss this for demands that Azimio wants to be met within one week, fail in which Kenyans will go back to protest. Um, you know, these four demands actually, if, I, if you ask me, um, yet to understand or to know whether Ruto will meet these demands and one of the demands that I think uh, Ruto will find a problem meeting is this issue of server, opening the server. Yeah. Now, um, folks, before we expand on this matter, if you're new here, of course, uh, take a time to receive my greetings and I'm hoping you're doing well, whatever you are. And of course, if you've always been here, this is my greetings too. And subscribe. Now, um, William Ruto yesterday accepted to meet the Lamudinga's demands. Um, Ruto said that, uh, you know, said that uh, he wants Raila to stop these demos, but in return, he will do what Raila wants. Actually, this meeting was engineered by Americans themselves. Senator Kuhn is the one who brought these two heads together and actually they met in Mombasa and they discussed how Raila was going to stop these demos and how, of course, Raila's demands was going to be met. Now, um, the demands, of course, the cost of living is there. Um, there is the instatement of the Chara 4 that were, of course, sacked by Ruto's regime. Yeah, and we have of course hunger price to go down. That's the cause of living. We have the opening of the servers. This is issue of server is what I am having doubt on. And of course, we have the issue. Realize there is an issue there by every county in Kenya should have an IBC com of um, commissioner of the chairman. The same with Chebukati over heads the whole country. So we should be having 47 Chebukatis. This is a way of you know of stopping. Rigging. Now, if you ask me, of course, I'll answer you that the last demand will not go well with Ruto. Why? I don't think Ruto will make this issue of server. I don't think Ruto is going to open the servers. <laughs> yeah, because um, people have been saying that Ruto knows how to play politics. So he just wants to calm Nella Mordinga down. And I'm seeing a situation whereby people will go back to the street. Why? Because Ruto will not meet his demands. <laughs> we will not open the servers. Because Raila is very confident that he won the elections. So if at all he won the elections, how will the president open the servers? Yeah, if at all Raila won the elections, how will the president open the servers? So I think this, uh, if you ask me, I can just say that uh, the Western powers, the foreign powers, wants to you know, destroy regime because by you know by compelling Ruto to open the servers it's a way of trying to show Kenyans that whatever is in the server is not the, the true reflection of what happened yeah, in the last election because we have Ruto as the president yeah as a sworn in president a legal president actually because he was sworn in but if at all the server shows us different results do you think Kenyans will sit down and, you know, entertain Ruto's regime? No. Even at all the servers shows that Raila won the elections. I believe Kenyans will not sit down and, of course, watch Ruto lead this nation. People might go back to the street. And I think Raila Modinga is very clever because he wants, is is somehow duping Ruto into making a deal that, of course, will hunt Ruto later on. Because in politics, they are no permanent friends, no permanent enemies. These two heads will fight again because Raila will be demanding, yeah, okay, open the servers now. We agreed that you open the servers. Ruto, of course, will play dirty politics. He will tell them, oh, okay, I have lowered the cost of living, I've done ABCD. But the point here is open the servers. Will he open the server? If at all lost the elections, will the president open the servers? That's the question I think I'm asking myself here because Raila is very confident that the whistleblower gave him the real results. Should the whistleblower be right, then I'm not seeing a situation whereby Ruto will open the servers. Unless the Americans, the ones who have fought for this peace, will force him to force him and, of course, open the servers. And if at all the servers will be opened, it means that Kenyans will not entertain what is happening in, in Kenya's political field. Because if Raila won, 
they do think Ruto will, will lead this nation. It shows that Rela Modinga will <laughs> occupy status maybe. Yeah, because the Saba is the true reflection of what should be happening in Kenya. Yeah? So, tell me the conversation. This, this, is my, this is my opinion. Tell me, do you think the president will open the servers? Because that's one of the key demands that Raila wants addressed within this week. Do you think this week the servers will be open? Because the two have now met and they're discussing, they're, they're discussing on ways they can, you know, um, deal with this issue once and for all. And of course, one of the ways Raila will calm down is if the servers will be opened, yeah, so that he sees the results by himself and he confirms that, of course, he lost or he won. So do you think this meeting will make it possible for the servers to be opened? Yeah, because Kenyans want to know who really won the election. Yeah, who really won the election? Come and then tell me what you think. Do you think it will be opened? Yeah, and what do you think is America's take in all this? Comment there, and of course, I'd be glad to answer you back. Thank you for watching. See you soon.